James here, has more Outdoor Products. Today I've got my Summit Titan, a brand new stand. I'm gonna show you how I set it up to pack this thing long distances whenever I have, you know, a mile or so, maybe even more that I wanna pack it in and out. I'm gonna set it up with a silent seat net seat. It's gonna be one of our essential seats. It's gonna make the stand much lighter, much more packable and mobile. Climbing stand, climbing stand stabilizer straps and third hand archery. They're a must for safety and it also helps you pack your stand together. Finally, this is our Molly carrying system. What we've done is we actually have sourced the uh, shoulder straps and the belt, padded belt. We've added our straps to it to, so that you can quickly attach it to your tree stand. I'll get into that later as we do this install. First thing we're gonna do is install the uh, silent seat. Here we have the seat, seat portion of our Summit Titan frame. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the steps of uh, installing the silent seat, it has more silent seat, net seat. Inside the package, you're gonna find the uh, seat itself. set of cable ties. The cable ties, they are rated for UV protection. They're actually an industrial grade cable tie. We've uh, special ordered these just so they would be more UV resistant and last a lot longer on your stand. We have no problem with these once we put them on. They hold quite a bit of weight and uh, you should have no problem with them once they're installed. On the back, the brochure is actually the instructions on how to install this seat. So we're going to go ahead and get started. About the only tool you're going to need is some way to clip the cable ties once they've been installed. So we're going to go ahead and open this package up, get our cable ties out. The way you install this seat is it actually wraps around the seat frame and it'll tie up the middle underneath. It's pretty straightforward. You find each square, match the corresponding square, and you'll put a cable tie on it. slide the seat toward the back of the stand, it actually makes installing it much easier. You don't really have to stretch it too much. Just make sure that you line up each square or the corresponding square right across from it. These summits are cut on a taper because of the way the back of your uh, summit stand Tapers. Each stand is cut just a little bit differently. They're custom made for pretty much every climbing stand on the market. If you have any questions about will your seat fit or what you need, just shoot us an email. We we'll usually get back to you pretty quick. My email is uh, james at hasmore.net. You can also message me on Facebook. We try and get back pretty quick on that as well. Sometimes the email may be a little bit quicker. Just whichever one you prefer. As you can see, the seat's starting to come together pretty easy, pretty quick. We'll slide it down a little bit. It's starting to take shape. Now we'll do the rest of the uh, squares. Okay, now that we have all of our tie wraps installed, you have a few tie wraps left over. I'll show you what to do with those in just a second. 
Right, let's go ahead and clip these off. Should have 10 of them installed. Once again, these are industrial grade cable ties that we've uh, selected. If you're confident they do the job that you need. Originally we had a, a lashing cord made out of the same stuff. After listening to the feedback from a lot of guys, they were ditching the lashing cord and uh, installing zip ties. So I figured they were going to do that anyway. At least we would uh, supply the correct cable ties that we were sure would do the job. And now, these extra cable ties we have, we're going to line these up on each side, right up at the front, the corners, tie those off. I'm going to do the same on this side. We're going to do it at the back. What this does is whenever you pack this stand, this seat will only slide back to the back of this frame and not pass. So you don't have to worry about your seat getting caught in the teeth or anything like that. Keep it from getting too bunched up. Just a nice little tip to do. Okay, now that we have all these cut off, the seat is installed, ready to go. Slide back out of your way when you stand up to shoot. Only adds about four ounces to the weight of your stand. Excellent upgrade. Going to install these climbing stand stabilizer straps. These are a must on any climbing stand for climbing. It will help recovery in case to keep the bottom from falling to the ground as you ascend the tree. Once you get to the, your climbing height, you cinch these uh, these straps down, and it'll lock the top of your stand to the bottom. They're very easy to install. We're going to go ahead and put these on the top since we have it ready. These are plenty long enough. Third hand adds you quite a bit extra. What I do is once I find out how much strap I need, I will cut the excess off. And make sure you burn the ends. I like installing it right here on my stand, just right at the little corners. go. Make sure that the alligator buckle faces the outside so when you're sitting there you can pull it down and cinch this down. This is a very nice upgrade, very quick, very cheap insurance policy. This will save you a lot of aggravation, possibly even an injury. That's how we do it to the top of the seat frame. We got that out of the way. Now we're going to install on the platform section. I like installing them right back at the back. Pretty much the same way we did on the uh, I like install them near the back. Make sure you have it so the loop 
will actually come just like this from this outside. Easy way to remember, just put the uh, loop outside the frame, slide it through. Okay, there you have it. Okay, the final thing that I'm going to install is going to be our Molly system. It's our packing system that we've uh, put together. We sourced the uh, waist belt and the shoulder harness. I'm going to show you how to install this quick and easy. You see, it'll come partially pre rigged to show you where everything's going to go. These loops here will be what we put around the stand. You have four of them, top and the bottom. So what I do is first off, I lay this out for the, where the bottom's going to go. We're going to hook that in. Just pop these loose. Just like that. Do this on each side. What I like to do now to make this extra secure, this is for the summit, to make the summit a lot um, more stable on your back. Some of the stands you won't have to do this for. I prefer this on the summit just because it, it really tightens this stand up. You're going to pack this stand where the uh, cables are going to be facing down so you don't have much over your head when you're going through the woods. You don't have to worry about it uh, catching on things. What I do, it's actually these molly straps right here. I'll feed this strap through there. On each side, take the clips off. Feed these straps through. And then I roll the seat over. And I feed it through these straps on this side. Now I put my quick release buckle back on. Notice the groove side. Pull that up as tight as I can get it. Might have to reach underneath. Then I snap it to the corresponding buckle on the harness. I do the other side. slide it under back through notice the grooves on the buckle itself that's what holds it in place when you cinch it down tight reach underneath the seat pull it down tight pull that one tight as well snap it together Waist belt is installed. Install the top portion. Slide it through the same way. It's 
loosen these up just a little bit. Snap it in. Take it loose. You always want to make sure you pull it through the loop like this. So the loop's laying on top. Okay, it's pretty much installed now. So what I'm going to do is pull this tight on each side. See, now this baby's pretty much part of your seat frame. And this is on there. Once you get to the tree, you can actually fold this up. And if you look, that's not a bad little package there that you can leave hanging underneath your platform. There's nothing hanging down, dangling, going to catch in the wind. What I like to do is actually take a bungee cord, loop it around there, put it on these two last molly straps right here, and it'll hold it right there. It'll hold everything, keep it from dangling. That way you don't have to take this off every time. It just saves, I, I, I'm all about saving time and uh, this will definitely do it not having to take this off. If you want to take it off, snap, snap, roll this over, take the other snaps off, it'll come off. If you want to store it beside your tree or whatever you'd like to do. Our final thought is, um, now that we've shown you the system, how much does this weigh? How much does this Summit Titan weigh? Now we're going to get a lot of questions on that. Mind you, the Summit Titan is probably one of the biggest stands that you're going to come across, the most roomy, um, most comfortable. I love these stands. I have several of them in several different configurations. So um, we're going to weigh this up, show you this is kind of the top end of the spectrum. I don't consider it excessively heavy, uh, especially with the Molly carrying system on it. It's it's not a bad stand to carry, really. It's uh, all right, so let's give it a little weigh here. The old scale saying 2341, 2341. Okay, however accurate our scale is, it's close enough for me say this thing's 23 and a half pounds. Not bad at all for such a large amount of comfort that you can put on. As you can see, we've got our Summit Titan ready to go, ready to pack with our Molly system, carry, Molly carrying system, our third hand archery stabilizer straps, and our silent seat. Once again, this is James from Hasmore Outdoor Products. I appreciate your time watching our video for our install on our Summit Titan of our silent seat, Hasmore net seat, our third hand archery stabilizer straps, and our Molly carrying system.